Next question is from Trey Thayer. Where do you draw the line between deciding to improve your health naturally through diet, exercise, and sleep, or using more unnatural methods like supplements and medication? How do you strike a balance between these two methods? Oh, good question. Question. Okay, so here's a good rule of thumb, okay? Focus on diet, exercise, sleep, and lifestyle, and focus entirely on those, and if those are not great, don't that's, don't waste your time with supplements and medication. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a caveat, okay? There is a caveat. If the supplements and medication are needed to help you with your sleep, to help you with, you know, exercise, then those can sometimes be of great value. So let's say you have anxiety issues that are really, really bad, and they're, they're, your, your anxiety is so bad that it's hard for you to even focus on eating a good diet. It's hard for you to work out because you're out of breath because of the anxiety. You definitely can't sleep. In that case, natural supplements uh, might help, like a Organifi's Gold Juice can help with something like that, or Ned's Hemp Oil can help with something like that. And they'll help you enough so that you can get the good sleep or good exercise. But the rule of thumb really is focus on the diet, exercise, sleep, and lifestyle first because those are the things that cover 95% of everything anyway throwing supplements or medication on top of that, it's not going to do a whole lot. I mean, I, I, the truth is, and I think this is, and this is something that I feel like I've had to have this conversation more with somebody who maybe has listened to us since the very beginning, and then they're, they're still around right now. And then we have all these different partners of things like Juve and Felix Gray and, you know, Organifi and all the, all these great these companies that we, we have partnered with, but our messaging is still never changed. Um, I, ideally, you, you do not want to have to use any of that stuff. And that and that's what I think you, we should all be searching for. I mean, in a, in a perfect world, um, I've got a great sleep routine. I don't need any assistance. I, I do a good job of, you know, turning my uh, electronics off at, at an early enough time that I can my brain can settle down at night. I don't need any of these tools. Um, I'm eating correctly enough whole foods and hitting my macro targets that I don't need a protein powder. These are all tools to help. And I think that if if you find yourself dependent on supplements or medication, uh, you're you're just kind of you're putting your finger in the hole. You know what I'm saying? Like there's there's still a hole in the boat and you need to patch it and fix it. I don't think it's a good idea to just accept that, oh, this is how I, I need this to go to sleep every single night, or I need this in order to hit my protein intake. I'm always striving to get my protein intake through whole foods, but it doesn't mean that I don't have, uh, you know, like five jugs of protein powder above my refrigerator. I mm -hmm. do. And I, and, but they last me quite a while because I use them intermittently. I use them as needed. I don't use them like, oh, this is just part of my routine. I have two protein shakes every day to make sure I hit my targets. No, my goal always is to make sure that, or try to make sure that I get my protein and take through whole foods. But the reality is a lot of times it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. And so when it doesn't, I, I, I use these things. And the same thing goes for, like you mentioned the Ned and the, and I mentioned Felix Gray and all these partners we work with and Juve, like I mean, my goal is to get out in the sun for an hour to two hours every day and get it on my body. Like let let the natural sunlight give me all the benefits that it provides. Now, when it doesn't, I discipline myself to make sure I spend 20 minutes in front of my juve. Like so, I, but what I don't do is go like, oh, I've got the juve light, so now I never need the sun. Yeah, right. Like that's not, a, I don't think that's the right no. uh, mindset. These are inter interventions. These are things that I would hope like are used as a catalyst to then promote more healthier behaviors right. and, and really seek those out. And I, I have this conversation quite a bit with my family members because it's always like, what's the new thing? What's the thing that's going to help me sleep better? What's the thing that's going to help my performance in the gym? And and it's it's always the same answer for me, but they want to, they want want to go to the supplement they want to go to that uh you, you know the, the the bio device you know something that that they didn't know about and it's nothing unique or new really that's going to get you there other than you know what what works is you know the good sleep you know the good diet the good regimented uh you know training program and consistency and that's always going to be the answer and how can we find our way back there is really what the conversation should be about yeah you know what's funny is they do studies on people who take supplements and they find that people who take health supplements have much better health. So you think, oh, it's the supplements. No. No, when they go deeper, it's because people who tend to take the time to buy 
health supplements they and care. take them consistently care about their health. That's right. They so care. they also have better diets. They also exercise. Right. And when they control for that, that's where you see all the all the. I gains. mean, I have all of these things, right? So and yeah. just you know, back to the juve, the Felix Cray, all these awesome things, and I use them all, right? But I I also don't go, oh, I'm not gonna you know try and be good about <laughs> you know the sun or try and be good about turning my like that's always the main goal. Mm-hmm. The reality is, I know that that doesn't always happen, and so this is where I find value in owning or having these things at, at your disposal, but you don't ever want to become dependent on totally. them. 